What's going on guys? Welcome back to Comic Island. My name is Joey and this video is probably a bit too late but better late than never, right? So in this video, I'm gonna explain what happened to Flash Thompson and his Venom symbiote but before we get into that, I'm gonna throw you a bit of his journey leading up to their separation. Okay, as always, I want to give you guys some context before we get into the big reveal. So, let's rewind back when Venom traveled with the Guardians of the Galaxy under Captain America's orders. The symbiote escaped, bonded with a few members of the Guardians of the Galaxy, and drove their ship back to his home planet of Clintar. This is huge in the Venom lore because all this time, we always assumed that Venom was an evil alien symbiote whose main goal was to bond with the most powerful host available. Then it will go out and do whatever the hell it wanted. Guardians of the Galaxy issue 23 reveals the home planet of the symbiote. The issue also reveals that their species are like a hive mind. Some have splintered off and got corrupted by its host, so they do bad things. Hence the planet of the symbiote story arc where we see an endless wave of venom symbiotes came to earth and nearly took over. Their true purpose is to bond with a host worthy of their power set. Once they find the lucky host, they become the protector of the cosmos, kinda like the Green Lanterns from DC Comics. Flash Thompson's symbiote got purified and was returned to Flash with a new badass armor look. It's never really clear as to if Venom gained any new powers, but what is confirmed is that the symbiote lost all memories of his various hosts, except for his first and last most recent, which is Flash Thompson. The new and improved Venom, Agent of the Cosmos, acquired a ship, gained an AI assistant, and a bunch of new allies, one being a Skrull woman who's also host to a Clintar symbiote. Their adventures led them back to Earth where we see Flash Thompson rescuing his protege, Andy Benton, from the Hellmark. Now, if you didn't know, Andy Benton was one of Flash's students who obtained a piece of the Venom symbiote. Her life was saved in exchange and afterwards, she became Mania, kind of like the Mini-Me from Awesome Powers except with so much more power. Flash rescues Andy and he even shapeshifts back to his old military armor inspired look. But soon after that, Thompson gets ambushed by an unknown armored assailant. The assailant got in close and blasts Venom with an unknown arm cannon which separates Flash from the symbiote. The separation is nothing new. Thompson has been severed from the symbiote in many occasions and it usually always returns to him. But this time, the symbiote became impulsive, chaotic and unpredictable. It ran off with Thompson giving chase. The assailant is revealed to be Agent Wumbo, a young FBI agent who's willing to break the law if he gets results. Following the attack, even with Andy's help, Thompson loses his symbiote. In an unknown alley, the Venom symbiote is lost and scared. It feels anger, it shouldn't feel this way, but somehow, it feels good. Venom feels the need to bond with the host, so it attaches itself to the closest person around, a man nearing his deathbed. The acclamation makes Venom sick, but luckily, not far from his location, Venom finds a new, stronger host in the form of Lee Price. During their acclamation, Venom discovers that it cannot control or influence Lee, Instead, the ex-marine subjugates the Clintar symbiote. With his new weapon, Lee Price begins to climb the criminal underground. The only one standing in his way is current mob boss, the Black Cat. Agent Wumbo comes back on the scene after discovering that Lee Price is the newest host to the Venom symbiote. The federal agent blackmails Price to dig the memory banks of Venom to divulge the identity of Spider-Man. Unfortunately, with his purification on Clintar, Venom no longer has that information. Eventually, everything comes full circle as Venom's fight with Scorpion draws the attention of Spider-Man himself. During their battle, Spider-Man tricks the symbiote to leave Lee Price for him. During the transition, Spider-Man traps Venom in a containment capsule. This angers Venom and it screams, I hate you. After being stored away by the military, Eddie Brock, current military personnel, breaks into the room and takes back what is his. Eddie Brock, Venom is back. Alrighty guys, so I hope this answers a lot of questions. Venomverse will begin soon and we will see Brock and Thompson back again, hopefully both having the symbiote. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe and I'll see you guys next time in another Comic Island video.